preacher and I have no sorrow. I come today, uh, TV evangelistical outreach, uh, new life, uh, hallelujah, new life church, uh, worship center to tell you today uh, that because the Lord uh, is your shepherd, uh, you will lack nothing. Uh, you will not lack peace. Uh, you will not lack hope. Uh, you will not lack faith. Uh, you will not lack anything uh, that pertains to life and godliness. God, thank you, Lord. Do you understand that God is the one that is doing it? Yes. Glory to God. God is the one that is doing it. Because the Lord is your shepherd. Yes. Not your pension fund. Amen. Because the Lord is your shepherd. Yes. Your body is going to be healed. Amen. Because the Lord is your shepherd. Your knees are going to be met. God is speaking to the discouraged and the hopeless. Those who have forgotten that he's the same yesterday and today and forever that there's never any change with God. That I'm your caretaker. It's not your husband or your children. It is God. There's a limit to what any man can give you or do for you. Only God. Only God. We've got to put our faith and trust in God. Even when you, you are trusting all the pressure. Don't trust all the pressure. And you're squeezing like you're in pain. If you stand up straight. Firm. Firm. With your shoulders erect. Yes, right. Say, God, I thank you for the grace. Yes. I thank you for the grace yes. to have faith in you. Lord. Whatever you need today, are you hearing me say it? Whatever you need, the Lord is your shepherd. If you've come here today with a need, a problem, or a burden, a breakthrough, that you need a breakout, a breaking forth, and you want God to do something for you, I want you to stand to your feet. I want you to stand to your feet. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Whenever God sends a word, He heals. Yes. Whenever God sends a word, He provides. And this word that I preach to you today, the enemy of the church believes it. Yes. The enemy of the church wants to snatch it. 4.5 billion years ago God took care of every need that you have whatever you want for your children God has already done it yes. thank you Lord whatever changes you want to see in your marriage God has already done it Amen. whatever monies you need to do whatever you need God has already done it Amen. one of the things I say to people as I preach I'm not one of those pretty girls or pretty boys that roll up here today in a Ferrari. I have money dripping all over me. Yes. I preach what is real and practical. Amen. Because I know what it's like to walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Yes. I know what it's like to wake up and there's nothing to eat. Mm. I know what it's like to hope against hope like Abraham. Jesus. But as we approach 2021, God is saying to us, Goodness and mercy Amen. will follow you into 2021. Yes. But we've got to leave all of the stuff that we came to church with in the fire. Amen. In Jerusalem, there was a place that was called Kidron. It was burning always with fire. And that is where people will go and dump whatever need to be burned and consumed with fire. Whatever demonic spirits that have been harassing you and attacking you. Blocking you and hindering your blessings. It has to be over today. Because you are remembering again that the Lord is your shepherd. Yes. And you lack nothing. Yeah. I want you to get all your cares and all your burdens. I want you to get them. I want you to get them. Bring them up. Bring them up. Bring them up. Bring them up. Everything that troubled you. Everything that brought bother you. Everything that you want God to fix. I want you to bring it up. Because the power of God is present to you. Come on, I need to see you. I need to see you in the spirit bringing those needs. I don't know what the spirit is going to do. I don't work magic and I don't play games. But I know each of us is believing God for something. I know I am. I know I am. I want you to bring it to the forefront. I'm not asking you to tell me. I'm not asking you to shout it, shout it out or put it out there. 
I'm just asking you to bring it before the Lord. Where is it? I don't see it. I don't see it. My eyes are open in the spirit. I don't see it. I don't see you with the need. I don't see you with the care. I don't see you with the burden. I don't see it. I don't see it. Because right now I am your intercessor. I am the one that is standing in your behalf in the realm of the spirit to petition God for you. And I need to see the need. I need to see, I need to see, I need to see you in that realm of the spirit. I need to see you, that I can beseech God for you, hallelujah. It doesn't make any sense coming to church and not getting what God is giving. I'm not calling you because I want to make ministry. The shepherd is calling you. He's calling you. He's bringing you into the green pastures. He's bringing you beside the still waters. Father, your people are standing in your presence. Father, your people, your sheep, they're standing in your presence, God. They've heard your word. That because you are their shepherd, they will lack nothing. And they've come today to reaffirm their faith, their trust, and their hope in you as the, their only source and sustainer. As a matter of fact, if you don't need God for anything, you can take your seat because I need to see those who want to move from God, who want God to break through in their lives and in their circumstances. I want you to close your eyes and let your hands. I want you to close your eyes and lift your hands to the Lord. Close your eyes. Because when your eyes are closed, you're not distracted by what is going on around you. Father, this afternoon, in the name of Jesus Christ, there are men and there are women standing in your presence. They're standing in your presence. Just hold the music for me. Just hold the music for me. Just hold it. Just hold it. There are men and women standing in your presence, God, this morning with needs, financial needs. Father, you said in your word that money answer all questions. Once there's money, food can be bought, bills can be paid, debts can be cleared, rent can be paid, insurances, and car notes can be taken care of. There are many that have physical needs and domestic needs. There are situations in their homes. Mighty God, there are those that are carrying needs and burdens of families and friends. I stand today as an Ezekiel intercessor in the gap, and I bring mothers and fathers Fathers, husbands, and wives, single men and single women. I bring the pastor God. I bring all of us here today and all of our needs to you. And I ask you for breakthrough today in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, God, that you will take us up out of this season, out of this season, out of this season, in the name of Jesus Christ, and place us into the season that flows with milk and honey in the name of Jesus. Father, every burden, every disappointment, every uncertainty, every struggle, that's the word I am hearing in the spirit, every struggle, every struggle, I bring the struggle, I bring the struggle to you today, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, and I ask you to free their shoulders from the burden and their hands from the basket, in the name of Jesus, every struggle must go, every burden must go, every heavy weight must go, Every oppression must go in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on and respond to the anointing. Come on and respond to the anointing. There's some people that say that church was good, but they got nothing out of the service. Respond to the anointing. The struggle is over. Your shepherd, the Lord your God, has come down today to 
The Bible tells us that when they put the Ark of the Covenant on the new cart, for the two cows that had just given birth, that the cows didn't know the way to go, but they were divinely led back to the people of God. And sometimes God is moving and we stand before God like if he's a stranger. Yeah. We stand up like we don't know how to talk to him or how to approach him. Yes, because of bad teaching and preaching with preachers that make you think that they were God and they had power and they had anointed and they took people's eyes from off God and caused the church to look to man. When I come, when I come, when I come, I want you to know I have no power. I have no authority. I have nothing. It is God that uses me. I want you to receive what the Spirit of God is present in the midst of us to do. I want you to receive your.